What's going on, dreamers, and welcome back to uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Now, uh, I don't always uh, start the game with this uh, uh, title screen, but you know, sometimes I do. Alright, so it looks like we're going into chapter 4, so don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. Yeah! Alright, now let's get back into this. Um, I clearly don't remember. Oh, the mirror. Right, okay. Don't think I need to talk to him anymore. Uh, okay. Get out of here. Sorry, I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> Squire. Hi. Any idea where Daddy went? Mindy, shouldn't you be in your room? Well, I thought I heard the king say you were grounded. I was grounded, but then Daddy called and said that I was free to go. Ah, oh, that old softy. Yeah. <laughs> free yeah. your own daughter from imprisonment. He's quite the teddy bear. <laughs> Why are you still here? Shouldn't you be away with Daddy? Well, I should, but I asked permission to stay here because I, um, want to, um, go see Dolly. Dolly? The ranch hand? Wait a second. Do you like her? Uh, maybe, but I'm too afraid to talk to her. Don't be afraid. Just go tell her how you feel. Any girl would be lucky to have you as an admirer. Do you really think so? Yeah. Now don't waste another minute. Go tell her how you feel. Okay. okay. I will. But wait. What's wrong? I need to check how I look. I need a mirror. Oh. You have one I can borrow. I do have one somewhere. Here's my mirror. Ah, okay, magnifique. How could I have doubted my own suavity? Thank you, princess. <laughs> and now suavity. I must go. Well, I have a date with destiny. Good luck. With eyes like mine, luck isn't necessary. Wow, right. that was a quick 180. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for him to leave, I guess. There's some doors. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't need to go there. Why am I here? I think I need to leave the uh, whole area here. I was like, what the, what's the point? I think I need to like leave to these. No, I'm just gonna question Mindy leaving. That's Daddy's Royal Seahorse carriage. The seahorses are in the stables though. I need to get them if I'm gonna go anywhere in it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Now I can reach SpongeBob and Patrick in no time. Right. All right, that was chapter four. Now off to it's chapter five. Just as they are about to enter the dreaded Great Trench, where dark and evil things lurk. They have lost their precious animal deal once again. Yep. Mindy senses their low morale and boosts their confidence by bestowing false mustaches made of seaweed upon them. <laughs> now they were men. We are men. Anything it throws their way. Mm -hmm. Now they were men. We can do anything. Now they were men. We have to cross this plane to get to the other side of the trench. It looks pretty spooky, but I know we can do it. We just passed a hotel. Can't we stay there for a while? No, Patrick. We have to get to Shelly No, City. we're not. We we're don't not have gonna, much time left. We're not going to stop at a hotel every time. That's stupid. This place oozes evil. This place oozes evil. Let's do that. Okay. Hello 
again, Patrick? Hey, you SpongeBob! What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Uh huh. Oh, oh yeah, anything you say, SpongeBob. Oh, forget it. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, what? Gotcha. Whoa! The stench! Right. It smells like feet. Yeah, it does. It's horrible. Oh, I kind of like it. If the fog gets any thicker, <laughs> it's going to be tough to see where we're going. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I guess keep walking. Keep it walking. Gotta keep it walking. There's a boy. Hi! Huh? Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? You seem a little nervous. I'm lost. I need to get to the other side of this trench, and I can't find my way. Hey! I need to cross the trench, too. Maybe I can help you. I really doubt it. I mean, I've been stuck what is this out guy's here voice? for days. The fog is too thick to see very far. You'll get just as lost as I am. What is that voice? GPT, GPT. This fog is pretty bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You need a lighthouse to cross this place without getting hopelessly lost. Have you noticed all the strangely shaped coral formations around here? Those are skulls. Well, whatever they're called, aren't they pretty? They're dreadful. That's not a very positive attitude. I'm gonna go. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. It's too foggy to see. I could get eaten by a crew. Oh, it wasn't me to go backwards. That's kind of weird. Look at those rocks just sitting there. They think they're so cool. <laughs> okay. Look at those rocks oh, just yeah. sitting there. They think they're so cool. They think they're so cool. That thing is scary. It's a wheel. I guess we gotta go to the hotel. All right, Patrick, you get your wish. All right. Hotel Deep Six. Not exactly five star from the look of it. And it is true. All right, let's go in there. Well, Patrick, get your wish. Okay. <laughs> I demand room service. Two Krabby Patties to my room immediately. You don't have a room. Well then, I demand mouth service. Two Krabby Patties to my mouth immediately. How about lip service? I think I could accommodate your gracious and noble personage there, sir. Are you insulting me? Because if you are, you do it better than anyone I've ever met. If that is true, <laughs> he just doesn't then my life criticism. was not in vain. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words, I shan't soon forget you. Okay. So I'll just walk down the hall. Bigger than I imagine mine would be if I had one. I'm guessing you usually knock before coming into 
a person's room? Nah, don't see my point. <laughs> okay. Nice room, huh? I'm of the opinion that it has a vaguely larcenous Loki. Larcenous? My god, this game. Are you alright, ma'am? You seem upset. No, I'm not alright, as a matter of fact. Somebody stole my pearls last night from right out of this very room. And whomever it was left this strange orb in its place. I'm in a state of shock. Pearls, huh? Patrick, what do you think? I think it's a job for Detective SpongeBob and Inspector Storm. <laughs> oh my god. May we ask you some questions about the incident? I suppose so. When was the last time you saw your pearls? Last night. I'm not sure what time, but they were on the table next to the lantern. I don't know how someone could have gotten in here without me hearing them. Was your door locked last night? Yes. I lock it when I go to sleep. I leave it unlocked, otherwise, assuming people will be courteous enough to knock before barging in. Apparently, I was wrong on that count. Thanks. Well, <laughs> nice talking to you. Yes, a pleasant, mindless break for me as well. I like how they just, like, didn't bother, like, drawing out the bottom part. <laughs> you know, that's SpongeBob there for you. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rot. I assume it's going to be one of the holes. <laughs> yep. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going then. Room two. It's like the same room, it's just with a guy. Hi, what are you doing in my room? Hi, I'm with room service, and we're checking yeah, all we're the room tenants service. to see if they'd like a complimentary mint with their next meal. You don't look like you're with room service, although I bet you can clean a mean dish. That, sir, is out of line, but true. <laughs> oh, okay. Jesus. I'm looking into the disappearance of some pearls. Oh, yeah? Nice. So what's it got to do with me? Well, I was hoping I could ask you some questions about it. Uh, fine. Well, it don't take too long. I'm a busy guy. Right. Lots of irons in the fire, you know? Right. Where were you last night? I stayed in. It was kind of stormy last night. Kicked up all sorts of fog over the plains. I didn't want to get caught out there. You didn't leave your room at all? I didn't say that, but I didn't leave the hotel. Did you see anything or anyone suspicious while you were walking around? Not particularly. The manager was asleep at his desk. Aside oh, from okay. him, I didn't run into anybody. Doesn't have his own room. That's weird. Uh. The manager was asleep at his desk? Yeah, snoring quite loudly, in fact. <laughs> it made it difficult to read. I almost woke him up, but on second thought, realized he's even more annoying when he's awake. <laughs> Jesus. God, this game's starting to get bashful. <laughs> Anything else you can think of that might help? Nothing unusual happened last night at all? Well, now that you mention it, I heard quite a bit of noise before I went to sleep, coming from beneath the floorboards. Sounded like something dragging. Dragging sounds? Hmm. That's what I said. It's what I see. <laughs> Do you know what all these holes in the floor are? I don't know what caused them, but the other day I saw an oyster pop out of one of them. It must have oyster. seen it, because it ducked back inside immediately. I see. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Right. <laughs> Jeez, you don't have to be so rude about it. 
Uh, there's a window here. It's weird. Okay. Well, well, only two rooms, basically. Okay. That is weird. There's a mystery afoot here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Uh, I think I could talk to him now. Hi, it's me again. Oh, the sheer luck with which I've been graced. Someone fanned me, I may think. <laughs> Do you know one of your tenants had some pearls stolen from her? Yes, Victoria Ellen in room one. How could I not know? She has made quite a stink about it. Oh, okay, right. May I ask you some questions about the crime? If you must. Where were you on the night of yesterday? The night of yesterday. At this desk. The same place I am every night. And every day, I don't sleep well. I see. And did you see anyone suspicious come through the lobby? Let me think. Red came through in the early evening. He stayed in room two. Strange person. But he pays his bills on time, which is more than I can say for Victoria. Mm. Mm. Nobody else? Well, um, all right. All right, I confess. I cannot withstand your incisive and brutal questioning. Oh, okay. I did it. I took her pearls. Just please, no more of these vicious questions. Really? You, you did what? it? No, I was kidding. What are you, some kind of knucklehead big spasmatron? <laughs> <laughs> She's been staying here for a month and hasn't paid her bills. What is wrong with her? She obviously has money, but I'm not seeing any of it. Do you know anyone who might want to take Victoria's pearls? Let me think. You? Ah, now we are getting somewhere. Where might I find this mysterious you? In a mirror. I see, I see. Oh my god, Thanks. Jesus Well, Christ. nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shall soon forget you. Alright. <laughs> so what do I do now? I don't know what to do. Um, I think I need to go find them or something. I don't know what to do. I'll go down the road. Not much I can do here. How this is like in the foreground and they're in the background. That's weird. Alright, go to the cavern. I'm not fully sure what to do here, but you know, whatever. Great Barrier Reef. Are you a superhero? No, 
I am an explorer. Pretty long introduction for someone who's not a superhero. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Did you know your initials are cowpaw? Yes, it is a fact that the baser intellect never fails to point out. And people say I have a silly name. Do they? How interesting. Yeah, they're in a... Yeah, really, what, what is, is this cave? cave? The protect the focusing orb. Orb, huh? Yes. Neat. It's more than neat. The focusing orb points out safe passage through the abyssal plains. They're quite impossible to cross without consulting it. Oh, the abyssal plains. That's where we need to go. Well, oh. in that case, you'll need to get past the corridors of confusion. Corridors of confusion, huh? Yes, and beyond them, you must consult the pool of perception. And then finally, the doors of deception. Did you make up these names? Possibly, but I assure you, they are most descriptive. Okay. <laughs> Flashlight? Well, I suppose you can borrow it. Now don't break it. It is precious. Get it, get it! Use it well. Tell me about the corridors of confusion. Cool. They are a series of Well, I got the flashlight, so each one there's that. Oh, that's good. Yep. And in order to one of the things them, I needed. You must enter them in the order that they light up. Sounds kind of silly. Yeah, it is kind of silly now that you mention it. But it's the only way to get to the pool of perception. Okay. Tell me about the pool of perception. I like to know about everything, really. I'm sorry. <laughs> legend has it tells you your future when you gaze into it. I can tell you your future if you like. I see years of therapy. <laughs> hey, I didn't make up the legend. Right. Tell me about the doors of deception. I don't know much about them. I have not as yet had the privilege of studying their legends. I'm sure they are quite dangerous. Good luck with your expedition. I've got to go. Yes, off with you. Okay. A little guy that keeps coming out every time. All right. Uh, yep. I thought that guy said there'd be lights in here. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. Whoa! Easy on the reverb there, Ringo. <laughs> This one, this one, this one. Hooray! Good work! Yep. Rope man, okay. Hi! Whoa, you're old, aren't you? Indeed, I Jesus. Am. What I lack in Why is this game trying to be so bashful? It's so messed up. Is the pool of perception. 
Looking into its depths gives you a vision of your own future. Oh my god. Is it heated? No. no. Well then, call it whatever you like. I call it lame. <laughs> Shopping. So, the future, huh? <laughs> my god. Yes, but you must be careful. Each time you look into the pool, you look further and further into your own future. That can be dangerous. Dangerous, right. huh? Yep. Dangerous. Yes. Knowing your own future can destroy an individual's sense of free will. Free that is will, true. huh? Yes. The temptation to contradict what you see as your own future can cause a person to do drastic things. Oh my god. Drastic, huh? You aren't understanding anything I'm saying, are you? Understanding, huh? Oh, get it. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't by any chance know a way to cross the abyssal plains, would you? Actually, I do. The inner sanctum lies beyond the doors here. In it is a device that uses sunlight to illuminate a path through the fog of the abyssal plains. Well, right. so being here is kind of so there. is technically important. I cannot let you in. The focusing orb has been stolen. Those doors must remain locked until the orb has returned. Okay. Focusing orb. Yes, it aims and intensifies the light. The inner sanctum does not function without it. It would be of no use to you. Who stole it? I don't know. Nobody can get to the inner sanctum without passing by me, and nobody did. But if you can find it, I will allow you passage beyond these doors. Okay. Wow, things are getting stolen left and right around here. Weird, huh? What? What things have been stolen? Well, I huh? was just at the Hotel Deep Six, and someone stole this old lady's pearls. She was almost as old as you, if you can believe that. Pearls? That is quite odd. The focusing orb looks a lot like a pearl. Strange. Well, nice talking to you. Hmm. Personally, the conversation has renewed my interest in taking a vow of silence. Right, okay, let's, the let's give this ghoul of the future a try. Sure. What was that supposed to be? Hey, old... What's that supposed to be? <laughs> hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. Or does it? Let me give this ghoul another try. Yes, please, thank you. I knew the pink door was the right one. Wow, this pool is strange. Try one more time. Okay, I'm just gonna take one more peek. Hello, oh, Jesus Christ. It is I, the Spongebob I have some AD. advice for you. Be kind to computers. They are your future masters. And they have excellent memories. Of course they do. Whoa, I really let myself go. Still seems like good advice. <laughs> okay. I don't think they'll let me go in there anymore. Okay, one last time. Hey, uh, Squidward? What? Out of all the graves in the world, what do you think the odds were of us ending up right next to each other? Forever and ever and ever! But, Mom, you... Are truly a loser. <laughs> hey, uh, Squidward. What do you want, SpongeBob? Can you scoot over a bit? <laughs> no. Hey, uh, Squidward. <sighs> what now? Go towards the light. <laughs> Whoa! I think that was a little too much information. Right. No, I don't really want to see any further into the future. Okay. Yeah. The door is locked. 
All right. So pink door, right? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Well, actually, I want to see what this guy has to say. Hi, I don't remember your name. I expect you get that a lot. Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe. That's a lot. That's a long name. Uh, Good I'm luck out. with your expedition. I gotta go. Thought he had yes, anything else to say. With you. Hey, Patrick. All right, let's see where else we can go. Not fully sure what to do exactly, but I'm gonna see if I can find it what to do. Deep six. Oh yeah, I do have a flashlight now. That's right, I have a flashlight now. Oh, I can look in those holes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get through uh, hole one. <laughs> Door one. <laughs> look through the holes. Okay, let's see. Try the second one because it would be pointless. Uh, all right, manager. Hi, it's me again. Oh, the sheer luck with which I've been graced. Someone found me, I may think. Well, well, well. We have come to a conclusion from our investigation. Great hell, I'm all ears. Can't wait to hear. There is something. Living under the hotel that comes in through holes in the floors of your rooms. I think this creature may have taken Mrs. Ellen's pearls. No, can't be. I knew something like this might happen. Something like what? Well, when I bought the land for this hotel, there was an old oyster bed here. I didn't think it would make a difference, but maybe, just maybe. Oysters, huh? May I have permission to check under the hotel? Oh, yes, this is all my fault. Check, check. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity. <laughs> okay, Your I guess we're going down. Words. I shan't soon forget you. All right. Oh, we can leave now. Under the hotel. Yep. Wow, this little guy sure has collected a lot of stuff. Do the uh, this part really quick, and then we'll call it a day. This game is weird. Okay. 
the orb again. Whatever. Okay. So that orb, I have to take it all the way to the other side, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm pretty much all out of time here. So that's going to be uh, it for this one. Patrick, stop itching your butt. God, Jesus. And, uh, so don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see 40 subscribers. That'd be great. All right, so I guess on that note, bye.